Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. You know, sometimes, sometimes you find something, you're not sure what you found, but it's uh, intriguing enough that you just gotta, well, you gotta take a look at it. And that's what's in this box today. This is Amazfit. We've seen some incredible Amazfit products. Yeah, the um, Pace and the Stratus and oh boy, on and on. Well, this, this is a band, a fitness band. It's all in Chinese. The best I could tell is it's called the uh, Amazfit Meters. Um, and I'm not even sure what that means, but we're about to find out. So let's find a place to go in here. I guess right here. Whee! And open it up. Amazfit has uh, definitely got a name for itself in the market. They're quality products. And so, well, just from the packaging alone, we could expect that this is going to be a, a quite attractive and high-end product. And it is. Look at this. Their logo moved beautifully. Well, before we open the box further, let's take a look from Light in the Box, who sent this one out to us. Again, I really don't have a name for it. It's they're calling it a smart bracelet, time display, motion activated carrying thing. Uh, rather pricey um, for a band, but we'll see what it does. In terms of the specs that they have for it and features, it's a health tracker, cardiovascular health index, heart rate variability fatigue level monitoring, and a heart rate monitor, sleep monitor, all that stuff. So we're getting some high-end biometric um, data collection, activity tracker, all of that stuff, comprehensive assessment with a health report on your body's physical and active data, so forth. Oh, okay, interesting. Here's the basic specs. Not a whole lot. It's IP67 waterproof. Little battery in it. Looks like it'll last for a while. Okay. All right, let's take it out. Wow, I, it's so nice, I don't even want to touch it. Wow, all right. They have a plastic sleeve around it with a simulated screen on it that we have to remove first. Okay. And it's got the kind of band that slides through and connects that way. On the back, by now, if you followed this channel, you recognize some things. Little dots like that mean that's a charging port area or charging connector if it's magnetic. This type of a thing sticking up in the middle is the PPG green diode heart rate uh, sensor usually. And these metal plates here are electrodes. You have to have three of them, two of them near each other and a third one on a different location. And that does P um, ECG measurements. So you got PPG, and ECG for working with your heart information. That's the band inside the cover. We reveal a section with, it's all got little plastic things so you can take them out. And here's the charger, no doubt. Okay, in a plastic bag. And Wow, okay, it's a, a block. With, it's like its own unique charger. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Magnetic couple, really, really strong. And a USB connector on the other end for charging. And then, hopefully, well, look at this packaging. This is high-end. This is what you'd find in one of those department stores, you know. An Amazfit manual with some basic instructions, all in Chinese, folks. I think we're all in Chinese this time. So look at the pictures. I'm hoping the band actually will support English. I really don't know. We couldn't tell much about it. There's a QR code, which I'm presuming is what we're going to need for the tethering app that this thing works with. Another page. 
It's morning. We hear all the birds outside. <laughs> and specifications and such. It feels very odd to just be showing you a Chinese manual. So sorry for that. But again, don't really know what we're looking at. Not common on the market. Light in the box is the only place I've seen this. So let's charge it up and turn it on. Well, we're all charged up. And it's been a couple of weeks, actually, since what you just saw was filmed because I've been back and forth with Light in the Box trying to find out how we can get this thing to work in English. And the news is, just like we saw with the AmazeFit Pace, and the AmazeFit Stratus, they release a Chinese-only version, and then they come out with the international version. So this little puppy here, as cute as it is, as well-designed as it is, is in uh, Chinese-only. And the app is in Chinese-only. There's actually two of them uh, when you download them and launch them. You get into this which if you want to run it through your translator, um, doesn't give us much hope of anything that we can do. And the other app, oh, by the way, when you bail out of it, you get into ads. The other app itself um, gets you into, uh, yeah. Uh, so far, all I can tell you is there's no English translation app available to tether with the Chinese-only version of the band and the band itself. Well, when we run through it, by the way, you can pull these little things off here and remove it, which is really nice. There you go. Because the whole thing can be carried in your pocket, honestly. You've got the, the uh, photo diodes here for the PPG and the two plates here, plus that one for ECG. You could Put it in your palm if you wanted to and touch it to, to do the, the testing when you get it going. A nice, well-built, beautiful unit. And hopefully we'll see this coming out uh, in English soon. And definitely keep an eye on Light in the Box uh, with the link we have in the show notes down below. Uh, hopefully we can get that all connected for you. But I really can't do much with it. It's... It's... Uh, just not quite there yet. So many, many thanks to Light in the Box for taking the leap, sending us out this relatively expensive, because of who's behind it, you know, device. And um, yeah, we really appreciate your support. And hopefully when we get the English version available for you, check in the show notes and I'll have the link to uh, go pick it up in uh uh, international version, all right? <laughs> Until then, well, it's just like watching those old reviews of the pace. Uh, wow, that was fun times, but we're back there again. History repeats itself, and uh, we've got the first version in Chinese only. All righty, we'll see you again soon, and if I do get one in or a firmware update for this or whatever with apps that will link to it in English, I'll rerun this entire review. We'll skip the unboxing. You've seen that. But we'll pick up from where we are and we'll move forward and give you a good review of this uh, ECG plus PPG technology coming out from one of the leading um, suppliers of smartwatches in uh, China. All right. Catch you again later.